What's up, guys? It's Will here, back again. And we got another piece of news to talk about today, and that is the Hot Toys Electro from Spider-Man No Way Home, the film that almost made $2 billion, the shining star in Marvel's lineup in recent years, because everything's been a little bit disappointing as of late. However, No Way Home, it brought home the bag. It secured the bag, as I like to say. That said, Hot Toys has released this Electro Jamie Foxx figure, and he's not blue this time. So let's talk about it. Guys, first impressions of this head sculpt, I am super excited about this one. I think it looks fantastic. Yes, it is a jointed figure. However, it has Scorpion slash Sub-Zero straps on the arms, little arm bands uh, sculpted that really cover the joints quite effectively. So not the end of the world. This little starfish thing, guys, this is a very interesting thing that I think is sort of a, from what I've heard, a little comic homage. I mean, in the film, I know it. you can kind of see it very briefly. Nothing super crazy from what I recall, but it's a nice little accessory to have. It's better to have more accessories than not. I wonder how this is going to slide on the head though. I wonder how it's going to attach. Is it going to risk uh, any paint degradation, scratching, things like that? Only time will tell. That said, this Jamie he Fox head sculpt is really good. This is probably one of the better head sculpts I've seen this year from Hot Toys. I think overall this figure does have a lot of presence to it. It is sort of just sort of like a, I don't know, almost like sort of a militaristic type of outfit with the boots and sort of the uh, sort of uh, brown pants there and then the, the vest and everything. It has sort of a militaristic vibe to it with electricity coming out of them. This Jamie Foxx head sculpt though is very, very strong. I think the proto was a little bit sharper, but this is in that reasonable uh, expected five to 10% decline from proto to final. And I think overall, that's kind of what Hot Toys have achieved here. So I think this is pretty exciting nonetheless. The electricity effects are pretty cool. They're really not that much different than the Yoda ones or Count Dooku, uh, Emperor Palps, Pal Pal Palpatine and stuff like that, except they're yellow instead of blue. So that's really the main difference there. But I think honestly, if you're when you're gonna display this figure, it's like you almost gotta put the electric electric effects on them because it just adds so much presence to the character. And without it, he looks kind of, you know, he has some nice contrast with the with the black and the gold and, and the, the brown and things like that. But I think the electricity really brings the whole thing to life. So I can't imagine many collectors are going to be displaying this boy without his electric uh, effects, electricity effects, the yellow electricity. He's got the arc reactor sort of in the middle there. It looks like it lights up, at least in the photos. Even if it doesn't on your shelf, it's still gonna look really cool. You can see the joints a little bit here. So you kind of have to be a little bit clever in your posing techniques to uh, conceal them unless you just don't care. And then and that's the, if that's the case, then by all means, pose this boy however your heart desires. I think you're gonna be able to do a lot of different things with this guy. The pants are gonna be a pretty uh, flexible material that you can move. You don't have to worry about creasing, stuff like that. It's a fabric, so you should be good. There's jointed uh, arms. There's not seamless arms here, so you're all good. You can pose this guy to your heart desires. You're not gonna cause an issue. The one thing you do wanna be maybe slightly uh, cognizant of is the collar there. You wanna make sure the head sculpt maybe is not touching the collar on the side there, because you could have staining long-term if that is not rectified. Not saying it's guaranteed to happen, but I've seen it happen with Star-Lord and other similar type of figures where the fabric is touching the sculpt for too long, an extended period of time, you could have some paint issues going on, some staining of sorts, I guess you could say. The starfish look is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. So there's, there's a lot you can do with that in your display, but to me, I probably wouldn't use it. Um, I'm probably gonna pick up this boy if I can for review. We're gonna see what I'm able to get my hands on, but I'm hoping to pick this one up for review because this is a really, really cool figure. And there is a lot of cool stuff, like all the wires on the suit and the tailoring and just everything involved looks really cool. It's it's a very, I think it has a contrast of the vibe to it. I think this is a good job by Marvel's uh, costuming department. I think they've done a nice uh, job here, sort of making a costume that sort of pops on the shelf. And of course, Something that is toyetic, right? But also, he's not blue this time. You get to see Jamie Foxx's real face. It's interesting that they went that route. They were like, well, it's the multiverse. We can ever do whatever the fuck we want. And that's what they did. They said, you know what? You're not blue anymore, Jamie Foxx. And uh, if you want to come back, you're going to be yourself again. So that's pretty cool. Dude, this is a cool ass shot showing the sort of anatomy of Spider-Man as he gets electrocuted. That is really cool, man. I am very impressed with this. Um, Shout out to the photo a photographer. I'm not sure who this is. Ultra Ben. Ultra Ben. Congratulations, bro. You absolutely killed this. And uh, this is a really, really cool shot. Really creative and just awesome all around. So we're seeing here the Spider-Man figures. This looks like Andrew to me. So a lot of people have really uh, been excited about that Andrew figure, despite the fact that it didn't quite update all that much, but it could have been a licensing issue. That is most likely the result there, but everything looks pretty similar to the proto. It just, it, it looks kind of, it pales in comparison a little bit to the updated Spideys like Toby and things like that. But this Electro looks really great. I love the armor parts on there. The, the belt, uh, the sort of detailing on the straps with the yellow. Yeah, this guy pops, honestly. I think he really does pop. And you could create a really cool No Way Home display 
this Doc Ock's tentacle here, you can create a really cool display with those villains fighting each other, with Spider-Man sort of doing different things. So if you're a big No Way Home fan like Riley, for example, you create this whole big diorama display. Maybe you have a module case dedicated specifically to the No Way Home line, where you have Doc Ock kind of doing his thing, and you have the three spider man swinging and fighting, and then you have sort of Electro, and you have Green Goblin. You could do, a, and Hobo Goblin, you could do a lot of really cool stuff. This is gonna be a deep line, and Hot Toys new. One, this is Spider-Man. Two, this film's gonna make bank. And three, it has a lot of toyetic characters that we can make that people are gonna wanna get to complete a line. So, that's what happened, and uh, yeah, it looks great. I like the, the, the sort of, uh, intensity that he has in his face sculpt here. You can see here the teeth are just slightly showing underneath the lips there, so they're slightly protruding. I think that's great. The the facial hair looks fantastic. Again, the detailing on the wires and everything. I, I do want people to be careful. Maybe there could be some sort of glue going on with this stuff, so you want to be careful just to be gentle with those pieces and parts. But yeah, I think this looks really good overall. Electro, another No Way Home figure coming from the No Way Home Spider-Man line. Again, this is a deep line. All these figures are going to start to come out probably in the next six to eight months, I would assume. Maybe Hobo Goblin's a little bit later just because he was announced later. But yeah, this is, a, this is gonna be a deep line and one of the best lines that I think Hot Toys has put out in a while. And again, Spider-Man sells, we know this. Spider-Man is super hot. He always has been. I think he always will be. There's always going to be Spider-Man films, whether it's animated Spider-Verse or live action Marvel or Sony live action. There's always going to be Spider-Man galore and people eat it up. There's video games, right? There's video game Spider-Man. That's coming out super soon. The Insomniac versions. Super excited about those. Super excited. Cannot wait for, uh, for that game. And of course, to see the figures. Yeah, you can create some really cool poses. And again, Hot Toys really prioritize posing and articulation for this specific figure because you didn't need seamless for this one probably. Would have been nice, but with the straps, Hot Toys was like, let's be smarter here. Give him joints, but let's make him coverable. Sort of similar to the Storm Collectibles, Scorpion and Sub-Zero that I referenced earlier. But yeah, you're gonna be able to pose this guy, do what you want with him. But yeah, he does have a very militaristic look to him just with electricity involved. So I like the outfit. It's cool costume design. It's a cool figure. It's a great uh, addition to your collection if you do want to pick it up. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool, guys. This has, You gotta let me know in the comments below because sometimes I think, I'm like, yeah, I think the community is gonna really think X about a figure. Are they really gonna think Y? But then I may be totally off base. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not. So you gotta let me know. Is Electro gonna be the figure for you? Are you gonna secure the bag with Mr. Jamie Foxx Electro here? Because I think this is a really, really nice figure. The photography is fantastic. It sells the figure very effectively. Looking at this angle, the side, uh, side portrait, beautiful this is beautiful this is a really really good head sculpt and i think this could be one that people really want in their collection for that reason and look we really don't know how many more opportunities are you going to get at a jamie fox electro this might be the only one for a long time maybe ever uh maybe jamie fox electro comes back wouldn't be shocked at it but um yeah i don't know maybe they'll figure something out i know he's been having health issues though so i don't know maybe it could be uh, a situation where he doesn't so i don't know i don't know uh, we're gonna see guys, we're gonna see, but uh, overall this figure looks fantastic. I think Hot Toys have done an amazing job with this one. And even honestly, the Spider-Man looks pretty good here. The proportions look good in this photo. It could just be a matter of futzing as we like to use our collector terminology there. But yeah, I think this looks great. Guys, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. But for me, No Way Home line is definitely in the consideration for best Hot Toys lines within the last five years, because you have the Spider-Man figures, multiple ones, you have Electro, you have Doc Ock, controversial head sculpt, I get it, but you have Green Goblin. If that head sculpt comes out good, then I think you could have a lot of bangers in that line. And if you have a lot of bangers, then the conversation quickly becomes, is this one of Hot Toys' best lines? And I think this could be a line you see a lot of people uh, completing. Even though it's post Endgame, this is probably the, the most hype that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has gotten since Endgame. That said, guys, I appreciate you watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this Electro. I'm really excited. But yeah, that's all uh, from me for now. I can never say that correctly, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Click the notification bell for channel updates. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Peace out. Catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye, bye, bye.